Guys, welcome back to the channel. Colin McGraw here. All right, guys, this is gonna be a tough episode. I'm gonna offend some of you. Now, let me just put that out there that I apologize if I offend you or if I strike a nerve and I say something that you don't agree with. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is I'm gonna share three things that no one talks about that are a problem in New York City. Three things that I don't like about living here in New York City. So I apologize if I offend you, but these are my opinions. Have a laugh. <laughs> this is what I think. Number one, the dogs of New York City. Now, before you start writing up your comment already, this, this um, idiot doesn't know what he's talking about. He hates dogs. Nothing against dogs. I don't have problems with dogs. However, <laughs> however, <laughs> the dogs of New York City are a problem. They are a problem in terms of they, they just go to the bathroom everywhere. In the concrete jungle, they're just going to the bathroom all over the street. And I've never had that like in any place I've ever lived before. They usually are going to the bathroom in the park or on a hike or, or in nature. I've never seen dogs go to the bathroom right on the pavement before. And this might be a personal thing and I just can't get by it, but I can't get by it. I'm walking in the street. I feel like I always have to avoid crap or, or piss on the street. And so when I have people over to my place, of course I have a take your shoes off rule in my house. Of course. Please, take off shoes. What, are you kidding me? Take off your pants. What the fuck is that? I'm afraid it's necessary. Hey guys, hey, look, I get it. I've gotten used to it, but it's just kind of gross. Is it not? Correct me if I'm wrong. Am I wrong? I think it's a little gross. Number two, we're gonna stick with the animals of New York. The pigeons. Now let me tell you. The pigeons of New York are not like any other city, and I really believe that. The pigeons of New York City, they just live amongst people so much that they're so close to you. You'll be walking, they'll be like six inches away from your foot. They, they usually get out of the way, but I've had pigeons like nearly hit me. I feel like I'm ducking and weaving in the street when they're flying at me. The pigeons are aggressive here, and if someone knows, this is my main point. This is just a rant episode, guys, so apologies already. <laughs> If someone knows what pigeons are good for in our ecosystem, please leave a comment. Everything else I understand, they have a purpose in the whole ecosystem. Mosquitoes, I get it. Spiders, I get it. What the heck are pigeons doing? Someone tell me what pigeons are doing in our ecosystem because I don't get it. And in New York, it's another level. Uh, so I can't stand the pigeons in New York City. They really bother me. Also, side note on the pigeons, what the heck is with those people in parks, on benches, feeding pigeons? I've seen this all around the world. It doesn't change. How are people getting entertainment out of pigeons? Please explain to me how this is entertaining. You see these everywhere. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I run for mayor, there'll be no more pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and number, what are we at? Number three, <laughs> that's only three things on the list. Have you ever been on New York subway and you hear, showtime, showtime. <laughs> Showtime. There is a time and a place, people. There is a time and a place. And hearing showtime on the subway is one of the most annoying things about New York City. Now, I'm sure this happens in other cities around the world, but I feel like it's a lot more prominent here in New York. And I think that's just because people are like, they're doing what I'm doing. They're, they're trying to build an online presence. They're, they're grinding. And I respect it. I respect people that grind. I respect people that are trying to make money. But in the New York subway system, you are locked in a box with all these people and, and we're making it work. You know, it, we're in a massive city. You know, we're in a massive city. We're making it work. We're living amongst each other. But when you hear Showtime and people are performing right next to you, there's no escape. When, when did that become a thing where it's like, let's go to where people can't walk away from us. <laughs> there's a time and a place. Go to the park, get a crowd. If you can't get a crowd at the park, Maybe you're just not qualified. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, Walter. You're just an asshole. Okay, then. All right. I already said it. I know it's going to offend some of you. I apologize already. Leave a comment below if I did offend you. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I did. I came in real hot this episode. All right, guys. This was a, a simple little rant. I, I'm hesitant to say it, but like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of my content. But those are my three problems with New York City, guys. No one ever talks about those. You heard it from me. All right. See you guys next time.